Let's go, Kyle. Uh, How are you doing? Describe your connection and relationship with Kalijah Lipscomb, and how important is he going to be this season for this team's success? Yeah, uh, Kalijah's been great the past few years. Um, he's had some older guys in the receiver room to sort to sort of show him the way. Um, now with some of those guys graduating, he's going to have to sort of embrace that number one receiver role. And uh, I think he's been great. Um, great person. Love being with him. And uh, it's been awesome playing with Kalaja. We're over here on the second row, right on the aisle. Yeah. Who are some uh, of those other young receivers that you're looking forward to getting more opportunities outside of Jared and Kalaja? Yeah. Uh, Chris Pierce is one of them. He played last year uh, as a true freshman, um, limited role, but he's going to, you know, he had a great off season. He's going to be awesome. Uh, Trey Ellis is a fifth year senior and he's got a lot of experience and he's going to be great for us as well. Uh, Donovan Tennyson, slot receiver. It's been great, great speed, and he's going to be you know, awesome for us. And, um, you know, Alex Stump um, and uh, James Bostic, uh, a bunch of guys on our roster. Uh, CJ Bowler, some tr uh, true freshmen coming in are actually really good as well. So a lot of guys, a lot of young talent, and I think uh, they're going to be great. We'll go standing over here on the right side. Uh, when you came into the SEC, it seemed like it was in a little bit of a lull at the quarterback position. Just what's it been like to now be a part of this class and just have you seen the position develop during your time at Vanderbilt? You know, I try not to focus on that too much. Um, you know, my dad had told me coming in to Vanderbilt, um, when you're competing for a spot, try to worry about yourself, uh, making yourself better as opposed to comparing yourself to other people because you're going to drive yourself crazy. So. I try not to compare myself, even though there's a bunch of great quarterbacks in this conference. Um, you know, I try not to focus on that and try to be internally motivated to help you know, Vanderbilt win games. I'll go to the camera position on the front row in the middle. All of the experience that you've had during your time, how much does that help going into this season? Experience is so valuable. And uh, I think you grow through experience, um, being on the field, uh, learning by you know, trial and error. And I think it's helped me and a lot of the guys on our offense uh, grow throughout the past few years. Go to the front row over here on the left side. Uh, one of the things that you guys seemed to struggle with last year was consistency. And it's kind of an abstract concept. You know, it's not like strength or speed, something you can work on. What have you done to address that? Yeah, we talk about winning days, um, especially in the off season. So putting good work on top of good work to sort of make success a habitual thing as opposed to you know here and there thing. Um, talk about winning every rep, taking things one step at a time. We talk about being 1-0 and every week. And that just comes from taking things one step at a time, uh, putting your full focus on the now, like the then and now. So I think just trying to create habitual success and winning days. We'll go over here to the right side, back row. Cal, I know you went to the Manning camp this year. and. Yeah. Um, like for you to talk a little bit about that and also just fill us in on what kind of things you've been doing since spring practice ended to kind of build your skills. Yeah, well, first, the Manning camp was a tremendous experience. Uh, I got to be around the Mannings, uh, Peyton, Archie, and uh, um, Eli Manning, and Cooper Manning, funny guy as well. Um, and not only that, but uh, be around a bunch of uh, college quarterbacks, uh, a lot of the SEC guys that are here. And you got to pick each other's brain a little bit and learn a little bit here and there. And it's, um, it was a tremendous experience. Um, what was your second question again? Yeah, um, you know, one of our focuses this year was, uh, or one of my focuses was building chemistry with some of the younger receivers because we had a few guys graduate. Um, so trying to be in the film room, trying to throw a little bit extra after practice, and uh, trying to build chemistry with some of the newer guys. Uh, while also building chemistry with the older guys that have been uh, have had experience here. Go to the camera platform on the far right in the back. Hey Kyle, uh, I want to take you back to last season. You guys start off really well, knocking on the top 25, and then that Alabama game happened. What did that game kind of show you guys? How far you still had to go, and did that kind of affect the rest of your season? Yeah, um, it it helped us learn that we need to be able to handle success and adversity uh, better. Um, after going three and zero, we were you know riding high. We thought we were, you know, it was our year, and then uh, that Alabama game sort of humbled us. Um, what we needed to do a better job was not turning one loss into two, two into three. And I think that comes back to the point of, in terms of being consistent, 
creating you know habitual success, winning days in the off season, and taking things one step at a time, and not letting the emotions or anything from the previous weeks affect uh, the present. If that makes sense. Look over here on the second row on the uh, on the end left side. Coach Mason mentioned how much time you guys have been spending with each other. What's your relationship like with him, and how much has that grown over the last couple of years? Yeah, Coach Mason has been awesome. Uh, I've been very fortunate to, you know, have one head coach the whole time I've been at Vanderbilt. And, uh, you know, with Coach Tarver coming in as a defensive coordinator, Coach Mason has been able to spend a little more time with the offense. So we've watched some film together, and I get to – I've gotten to see the perspective of a defensive mind, um, showing how or analyzing how defensive defenses think, um, as opposed to just an offensive perspective. So it's been great. Down here to the front row on the left to, side. To, to piggyback off that, uh, Coach Mason said that he spent more time with you this off season than probably the rest of his time at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. um, what have you guys specifically been working on, and what has that experience been like? Um, like I said, he uh, has talked about the perspective of a defense, wh how they're trying to defend um, in certain coverages and fronts, and trying to – so that builds my understanding of defenses a little, a little bit more. And I think that's been very beneficial for me. And uh, it's been great, you know, again, to learn from Coach Mason. Go over here to the right side, back row. Uh, Ralph Webb has taken a lot of the heat off of you the last three years, and mm -hmm. he's gone now, of course. And there are – uh, Coach Mason mentioned three or four names that are competing for that top running back spot. How do you see that competition stacking out? And you know, from just what you've seen in practice, who would you give the the lead dog nod to? Yeah, um, we have a lot of experience from a few guys. Uh, Kari Blazingame is going to be a fifth year senior. Um, Keyshawn Vaughn played two years at Illinois. Uh, Josh Crawford has played a few years, and Jamari Wakefield has played a few years as well. And they're all trying to make each other better. They're competing hard. And it's only going to make them better, um, whoever's out there on the field. Um, Ralph's, Ralph was obviously great. But I think we have a lot of guys on our roster now that, um, that are really going to you know, step up. We'll go over here to the second row, the left side. One, have you ever had your own billboard, billboard before? <laughs> and then two, what does that mean to see that support from your entire program to do that in Atlanta? Uh, outside of your market. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, I got a text from my mom. She was real happy. She's like, you look so handsome or whatever. So it, it was it was cool. It was really cool. Go to the front row over here on the left side. Uh, speaking of family, you mentioned your dad. I'm curious of your football relationship with him. Does he watch all of your games? He obviously has other priorities in, with his job, but mm -hmm. does he break down film? Does he give you advice? How is that football relationship uh, in the off season and, and during week to week during the season? Yeah, my dad's a, uh, he's a father first. Uh, I don't call him coach, I call him dad. So um, he's a father first, um, he's my biggest fan. And, uh, but he'll give me some criticism here and there. And he'll, he's got my best interest in mind. And he, he definitely critiques me here and there, but nothing too much, he's a father first.